Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie and in today's video I'm going to be cleaning and decorating my kitchen for this summer. So before I start cleaning, I wanted to paint the framing of this thrifted picture frame that I got. I think it was seven dollars and change and I really liked the farmhouse with the cows and just the scenery of this picture but I wasn't a fan of the red around it so I just grabbed what I had on hand which was this black matte chalk paint and I'm just painting the picture frame and while it's drying I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen cabinets um, with just some dish soap and some hot water and giving them a good clean because I do need to touch up some areas and I want to have them prep for when I do those touches. I'm also going to be cleaning out the tops of my counters and really giving them a nice clean without having any of the items on the counter and then giving those items a quick clean as well and then I'm also going to be wiping the walls, the window and just refresh things here in the kitchen. I will admit that I don't clean the kitchen window uh, a whole lot uh, primarily because I have to get on the counter and um, or st stand up on the counter to clean it because it's it's a little high for me to reach the top panel of the window so I thought today was the perfect um, opportunity to get it cleaned um, and spruce it up a bit by adding some decor around it, which you will see in a little bit. So my kitchen is obviously very small, and when I decided to take the upper cabinets and put some shelves instead, um, I knew it was going to minimize the storage um, a bit, but it opened up this kitchen so much. It doesn't feel claustrophobic anymore, and it doesn't feel dark because I felt like the cabinets made it feel darker in here. And I really love how the shelves look, but um, I wish I had more storage or an island sometimes to prep food so a lot of the storage that or a lot of the things that I have on the counter are storage purposes um, so I have all my glass jar canisters which have my sugar wheat and flour in there I'm running kind of low I need to replenish 
the wheat flour in there but on the opposite side I have some more canisters which have my measuring spoons, another have the coffee filters, another has the coffee grinds, and then the paper towel holder. I try to make these functional but also really aesthetically pleasing that give me that country farmhouse cottage style of a kitchen. So I'm going to start decorating. I just wanted to point out that I have placed my copper pieces up here on my kitchen window. I just had a piece of wood up here and I nailed some nails onto it where they're kind of poking out so they hang, um, so the copper pieces hang on those nails and I think it's working out good. Um, I've had it like this for over a week and I like it. Um, these two I had inside the pantry, I replaced them and put the more shinier copper pieces inside of the pantry. So I just swapped them out. Um, and I'm not sure if they're going to be stacked like that or if I want to rearrange it. But for right now, I'm going to keep it as is. And this area always stays the same because these are the uh, plates we use on a daily Bases and I always keep my kickstand up there and just a mixing bowl up there. Uh, I've had a bas basket up here for a while. I recently bought these little hooks for five dollars at Hobby Lobby. Um, I like it so far there. So everything in this section pretty much is the same. Um, and then over here, I'm going to start to decorate these shelves and this pig row on this side um so let's get to decorating okay so for the bottom part i know you can see the cord but that's the ring light so it won't be there in case it's bothering you um i found this copper pitcher thrifting um maybe last week um it was nine dollars and change a little bit pricier but i really liked it and I pictured having some blue florals like these um, that I got from Hobby Lobby when they had their florals for 50% off. And I just thought that it, they looked really cute for summer and just whispery, wild-like. So I put them in here and I'm thinking of, you know, placing it here in the corner. I just think they add a lot of summer vibes on here, so I'm going to go ahead and place that there. I wanted to show you I decided to add some kind of bistro curtains um, here on the window just to add a little something um, for the summer I don't know that this is a look I'm gonna keep all year round um, but anyways I got this rod I believe at Dollar General um, it was like five dollars and then these I already had and these are actually embroidery kitchen towel napkins that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. They were about $2.50 each. Um, so very inexpensive. I liked this particular pattern or style. That's Farmhouse Blue Stripe. And that's the only thing I found that had it um, on the edges here, not all over the curtain. So that's what I got. And I clipped them on here. I just folded them in half. And kind of tuck the part where it has the little kitchen towel hanger part. I went ahead and just put it on the edges so that way it kind of hides it um, with the framing of the window. Mm -hmm. 
for another little touch of something in the kitchen window. I have this little picture that I got for a dollar at the thrift store and I just added some faux greenery that I had already on hand. I believe I got this at Walmart. got these cups at the Target dollar spot. I believe there were two for five dollars so I went ahead and got two packs. I decorated these shelves with everything that I pretty much had on hand that was thrifted for ever ago and the only thing new this time around were the cups from Target and the picture frame that I recently thrifted but yeah I tried my hardest to Keep it nice and simple, fresh and airy for summer, um, and also keeping it budget friendly with using things I already had. This is a new little hook um, holder that I got from Hobby Lobby and I was so excited to add a little bit of decor on the wall um, since when you're looking it's a very narrow um, entry to the kitchen and then off into the laundry slash back side of the door. So I wanted something pretty on here and I liked the hooks and I just decided to put a couple of kitchen towels and um, a basket with some geranium flowers that I already had on hand and this copper ladle that I got thrifting um, like last week and it was like five dollars and change but me and copper like I must have it and I didn't have anything like it so I went ahead and bought it and then I just added some cutting boards just to add another layer of dimension and visual interest. Here I'm decorating the outside door of where my water boiler is and it was just to make it look prettier and I just hung up my apron, a copper bowl, and um, a picture just to add a little bit of interest into the hallway. <music> Also a couple of changes on this side of the kitchen. Up here, I decided to put in storage all my baskets because I didn't know where I wanted them and I kind of swap them out as the seasons or as I decorate. So I wanted them readily available. And also I think they look cute up there. It's kind of a fresh, modern, primitive style. Um, and also I have some things inside of certain baskets um so it also serves as storage and then here i have blue tape because i painted finally this side of the cabinets the bottoms were done but not the tops so all i have to do is seal them but i'm going to go ahead and remove these later and then seal them because the top parts don't get as much usage as the bottom um, as far as traffic area goes so see my nails what i recently put these these are from 
Home Depot, they were 98 cents each. And so we would always open them like this. So my nails would scratch the paint off over time. And I did seal them, but I didn't do as many coats as recommended. I only did one, I believe. So I'm going to just touch up and then uh, reseal them since I already got them prepped for um, sealing um, since I cleaned them out and um, I can seal them again. So I wanted to decorate this side of the fridge. Um, I have a project in mind for the other side. So here I didn't know what to do because like it hits the side. So it's not like I can put a little shelf or anything or a rack because they would smack it. So I just found some of uh, these um, hooks, command hooks, and they still work. I had used them, I think, um, during the holiday season and these still had some good adhesive. So the last thing I'm going to do here is just put these faux florals in this basket, kind of hanging out or look arranged somehow. And I'm just going to put it on the top of the fridge. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got inspired by my attempt to decorate my modern kitchen um, cottage farmhouse style for this summer and I will also have a fun project for next video where I cover the ugliness of the side of the fridge so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you here so you don't miss out on the next video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!